Hello, my name is Sean Chandler, and I'm very excited to get to share my story with you. Also kind of terrified, because essentially what I'm gonna share with you is some of the most exciting things about my life, and also all the stuff about it that I wish wasn't true. All the pieces that I'm most embarrassed about, all the pieces that hurt the people around me the most, that's what we're gonna be talking about. And so, uh, buckle up, it's gonna be exciting. Also, they told me I only had 25 minutes, <laughs> I never only go 25 minutes, so I'm gonna try and talk really, 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 really fast. So, as I said, my name is Sean Chandler. Right there in the back, that is my lovely wife. We have been married for almost 15 years. We hit 15 years in December of this year. We have three lovely kids who are at our home being babysat by our uh, nieces and nephews, which is, has me terrified. We got a picture of the kids, if we could put that right up here. And there, there they are. Went to go get ice cream in downtown Round Rock a couple months back and got this amazing picture out of that. So the reason he wanted to share my story today is because the last six years has been uh, interesting for me to say the least. So I, I kicked things off six years ago and I was a pastor at Huddle Bible Church. I was actually at Huddle Bible Church for about eight years from 2008 until 2016. I've got a picture of that one. These next ones, I'll have a picture for each of these ones I'm about to talk about. So I was a pastor at Huddle Bible Church. There we are, right there, looking very pastorly with pastoral type glasses. I actually officiated a wedding right outside those barn doors right there. So right there, you can see me dressed up to officiate a wedding. My wife has been in a bunch of weddings that were held in this barn as well. Then I'm also a Rotten Tomatoes certified critic. That happened within the last few years. So there, if you're wondering all those people that give movies odd scores that you don't understand, you can send all your hate my way because I'm one of those people. I was a paint delivery driver for two years. So that was a little bit of an interesting path going from pastor to paint delivery driver and spilling large amounts of paint wherever I went. I'm currently a full-time YouTuber. So now I work from home making videos, talking about movies. So there you can see me right there. Uh, and as a part of being Rotten Tomatoes critic guy and YouTuber guy, I was actually invited to the press junket for the Terminator movie that came out a couple years back. So I got to interview the new Terminator for Terminator Dark Fate. And in the process of that, I was so nervous, I completely embarrassed myself. We have a clip of that. I'll tell you. Um, well, thank you for interviewing me. Or excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interviewing you. Um, I started off my first interview of someone ever, was like, I finally got invited, this is amazing. And I went, oh, th uh, 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 thanks for interviewing me. And uh, yeah, that's how that kicked off. And then the other thing that's happened in the last six years is I spent three months in an intensive alcohol addiction program. And so really, as we go into today, we're gonna talk a lot about the first one and the last one. How was it that I, as a pastor, that spoke on sin, that spoke on secrets every single week, had my own sin and secrets that took over that almost destroyed my entire life. But then on the flip side of that, that God's grace entered and was able to bring me to the other side of that. To say that with a room this size, there's plenty of people in this room that are struggling with major things. And I could tell you, I was as deep in it as any of you are or might be. I can say there's hope on the other side through God's grace. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get to that part to it, I'm going to go through my whole childhood. We're going to get like the whole life story. So I grew up in a split household. My mom, good church lady. In fact, she's worked at a church for the last 20 years in Pflugerville, been on staff there and took us to church every single Sunday. So grew up going to church. But then I had my dad who claimed to be an atheist, was a hard drinker, went out to the bars every single night. And that was kind of this split household that I was brought up in. Loving mother, teaching me all the right things, and a father that did all the wrong things. And it wasn't just that he drank, but he was a severe alcoholic to the point that eventually he did drink himself to death when I was 20 years old. 